Um, at least uh, I can say that it is um, close. It's a close connection. Um, especially to to the site or the the our surroundings but uh, for me it is not a fundamental difference between uh, a cityscape and a landscape it is something that you relate to as uh, some kind of geometry and um, as such i think it's similar but uh, the, the fundamental difference, of course, is that we can destroy uh, to a greater degree uh, uh, nature or landscape, which is untouched. So I think, um, uh, for me at least, when we build in, in such places, we have to do it with uh, great care. Uh, as for wood, I think it is... Um, it's, um, marvelous material for us. Uh, we use it a lot. Uh, it, is, uh, it can be used for many things. Uh, but uh, it is like being, if you are a cook and, and you use different types of raw materials, uh, you, you like uh, maybe many things. You like uh, fish, you like uh, uh, vegetables, you like meat anything and um, I think it's like that with many architects you you like a lot of different materials uh, for me the important thing is that you respect the material um, I, I think I would say it's not much uh, but uh, then, um, I will talk more about it uh, this evening, but um, uh, mainly it is uh, as a geometry, as a topology uh, or topography, uh, and not as uh, something wild. But also it is uh, um, the concept of chaos, uh, for me, that is, uh, comes from nature. It is not uh, order, it is, uh, it is something that is out of our control. And uh, in architecture, I think that is, uh, uh, for me, it is extremely exciting um, to be, be aware of this, uh, this type of geometry. It is uh, extremely important, uh, and it, it is not only that you touch it or look at it, but uh, it's the resonance it gives, the, the smell, the, uh, the acoustics, all these things. So uh, it, is, uh, it is definitely a part of, um, of how we think about architecture. When we think about the room, that we try to uh, put it together in such a way that it uh, it is uh, pleasant to be there if if that is what we want, and uh, then all these things are important. I'm not sure that there is always a tension, but. Uh, um, I think uh, if, uh, as an architect, you want to build in a place which is not uh, uh, everywhere, uh, in a way, touched by man, uh, if it is some kind of preserve or whatever, um, then uh, in, in the beginning, you should, I, for me, I would start with, uh, with uh, finding out if, if the site or the nature should be preserved. And uh, if that is the case, then we have to, to take care that it will not happen. Because uh, to, to make a building is a very violent thing. And um, usually we destroy much more than we we repair when we build something. 
and uh, especially when you build in in a site with a lot of, uh, for instance, vegetation or whatever. Uh, first you dig a big hole and then you maybe use dynamite. Um, so it's uh, extremely um, difficult to avoid this uh, destroying of the landscape. And um, I think uh, to a great extent we, we try to solve this problem by not building in such places. Uh, but uh, that is, of course, the easy way to solve it. But I think it's possible also to 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 build in in very um, precious places uh, without destroying the surroundings. But uh, it's not easy. Yeah, um, um, th there is, uh, I, I think if you take, for instance, a tree, uh, it, it is a ingenious structure. It, it is uh, thick where it has to be thick and then it's more and more thin. But this is, uh, when you make a structure, a building structure, you have to have safety margins and all these things. So. In a way, you have a, like an offset of the structure of the tree, so it uh, it gets a little more clumsy. And architecture is almost, per definition, more clumsy than uh, like a, a plant or a flower or whatever. Uh, and it is only because we have made our rules uh, in that way. We don't want things to, to be destroyed in a storm. Uh, if a storm blows over a forest, then some old branches will die. Uh, but we, we don't do it that way with houses. So uh, I think it's difficult to uh, transfer it absolutely directly because it's, um, it is translated uh, as a parallel uh, and everything, the thinnest things are maybe a hundred times thicker uh, in architecture and the thickest things are maybe the same. So the, the proportions are different. But uh, when that is said, I, I think um, <coughs> there are some structures that you don't find in, in, in nature or almost don't find. and. Um, uh, and 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 vice versa, uh, and uh, th that is for a reason. I think uh, the the joinery, for instance, is a typical uh, architectural human architectural problem. How to join pieces of wood or whatever? Uh, a plant is. In, a, in per definition one thing, it's one body. And uh, um, you have also other types of structures that you don't find, uh, at least directly. So uh, for me, uh, I, I think that the human brain can be free from all these uh, direct connections. Uh, if it is uh, useful and beautiful, I think it's allowed. And um, uh, whether it's uh, a translation or not. 